On New Year's Eve, me and a few of my friends were out for like just the one at the time just to kind of celebrate it. And uh, we came home here at about two o'clock. And um, whenever we came in, like a uh, friend there, he was uh, playing with Tiny, like our dog, in the kitchen, and uh, I locked the front door. So I locked it and then the back door, and then um, we just had like a few drinks out the shed out, out the side. So we left the patio door open, and uh, well unlocked, but it was closed, and uh, Tiny was in there. So we had um, we were in the house like all night. So it was really strange. And then we came in at uh, came at five o'clock, and I, I actually didn't notice. Um, but my friend Dan he had said, uh, where's your dog? I was like, no, she's probably just upstairs, something with my brother, because he always brings her in. So we up to look and she wasn't there either. Couldn't find her anywhere about the house. So we had went out walking about the street for about half an hour to an hour looking for her and couldn't find her. Um, I thought it was strange, maybe she just wandered off. And then I was kind of thinking, it was only the next day we realised, no, like she was definitely in the house, definitely hasn't just walked away. My mum was contacted yesterday by Someone uh, by like an intermediate saying that somebody else had the dog, and um, if you want the dog back, then you can give him, you can give me two hundred pound. I'll bring it to him. Like she's she's part of the family. Like she's um, it's strange in a way. Like she's not like just a dog, but she um, we've had her her mum and her grandma, so we've bred them for years and always kept one pup. So yeah, it means a lot more than just just the dog, really. Yes, so.